Hello everyone, welcome to Zen of Cars. My name is Jenny Tilly and we're here to talk about Forza Horizon 4. It was revealed today at E3 and it's going to be featured in Britain. The game is going to have a sort of shared world feature where if you want to go online, you go online and you are online with everyone else who wants to be online at the same time. The game will also have a single player mode that you'll be able to explore by yourself. Um, the Share World feature will have things called World Events. There will also be Group Forzathon, and there will also be Quick Chat, which allows you to communicate with other members in the online world using the D-pad. Now, it is not known whether this online map will be one server or, or multiple different servers at a time. I'm assuming one server, although I, I'm going to be amazed about how they're going to make that work with no lag and smooth, solid, consistent graphics, and for some players, 60 FPS, and others, 30 FPS. Um, and for some players, 4K, and for other players, not 4K. So that's going to be interesting how they do that. Um, the cars, they're going to have 450 different cars, uh, which is way less than in Forza 7, but I think it's more than Forza Horizon 3, I'm not sure. I don't remember the details on Forza Horizon 3 about how many cars there were. Um, but there's going to be 450 cars. There's going, um, they're going to have cars like the McLaren Senna, the Land Rover Defender 90, which are the cover cars. Um, they're also going to have the, the new, um, there's also going to be cars like the MGB and Austin Healey 3000 from Forza Horizon 4. Um, or sorry, Forza Motorsports 4. Um, the game is going to be, er, the game... The game is going to have this new feature, uh, Seasons. Active Seasons are going to be in the game as you play along. They're just going to rotate. There's going to be Spring, Autumn, Summer, and Winter. No idea about the timing of these seasons or if you can turn them on or off because I know some people are probably going to be annoyed as they're driving along and it just suddenly starts snowing. Um, and they just want to be drifting. Um, so seasons will be an interesting. See how the community reacts to that. We'll see how the community reacts to this whole share wor shared world idea. I currently like it a little bit more now that Forza has given us more information that you'll be able to play alone. Um, although they haven't given us any figures on how the server is going to work. Um, the regarding um, animals. Uh, traffic and avatars animals is going to be sheep and chickens um and deer running around the map there's also going as far as traffic cars there's new vehicles like snow plows and tractors um in the game and that will be that will depend on seasons there are vehicles with bike racks that we noticed um in the game so it will be interesting to see what those uh, react like hopefully they fix the traffic cars in the game last game or last Forza Horizon game traffic cars were just terrible they just kept crashing into people for no reason and I thought there were too many of them and if you could have the option to turn them off that'd be great but we doubt that will happen the game is also going to have different types of customization uh, as far as your uh, avatar goes they have had no word about customization for uh, cars but have, uh, we have seen new customization for avatars in-game. We saw an avatar walking out of a house and into an Aston Martin Vulcan and just driving off, so we wonder if you'll be able to have a new avatar mode where you can just walk around aimlessly, kind of like drum mode, but slowed down, um, and on the ground only. Uh, avatars will be able to, uh, hopefully, well, what we're speculating is avatars will have a choice, or you'll be able to customize your avatar with hats and gloves and shirts and scarves. Uh, there are several pictures that seem to prove that theory is true, kind of like in Forza, uh, Forza Motorsport 7, but taken a little bit further. So the game will be have a 60 FPS mode in for, or for the Xbox One X, and I believe it's 30 FPS for everything else, but it'll be able to support 4K. The game is available to pre-order now and it will launch on October 2nd and if you have the Game Pass it will be available to you free of charge. So thank you very much for watching uh, as we get more details about Forza Horizon 4 we will share them to you. Um, anyway thank you very much for watching and we will give you more details as the year goes on.